And so uh, there is a theory out there using a different laser, the 755 nanometer Alexandrite laser, in order to remove ink more quickly. Uh, it's been called the, um, the R20 method, where there have been four treatments done uh, in succession uh, every 20 minutes in order to remove ink more quickly. Uh, they had specific criteria that, that they used in order to make that happen. Uh, in our office, we have a 1064 laser, and uh, as a result, we had to change the protocol based on our laser specifics. And instead of calling it the R20 method, we're calling it the rapid removal technique uh, because it is a rapid removal of tattoo ink. Uh, we were looking to just focus on the upper body, upper extremities, because those areas tend to heal better and faster. Uh, and you'll see uh, in a video and in pictures, somebody who had a procedure done on the lower leg, uh, which did show improvement, but there was also some blistering because there can be more side effects when you go with the R20 method. And that's what it says here, the risks of blistering and hyperpigmentation as well as hypopigmentation. For the most part, you shouldn't cause damage with the tattoo removal laser, but when you're doing multiple treatments in succession, there's a heating of the tissue that can cause issues, uh, as well as there may be some other effects that we just don't know. Uh, this was just one treatment. Uh, Pre-treatment, both wrists. We did the right wrist with the, art, the uh, rapid removal technique. Four treatments were done in one day. And this is the uh, video of uh, that event. Just a slow mo. These lasers are fast, and you can see that the ink is uh, disappearing quickly. Uh, when you see the white, that's steam. Uh, there's steam that's generated. You see less and less of it as you continue to treat over time. So here we've treated both wrists, regular treatment. Now this is the second time that we've done it. There's already some erythema that you can see at the tattoo. This is 20 minutes in. And it's the second treatment. And this is our third treatment. So that's the uh, rapid removal technique uh, there. Uh, and here you can see regular removal technique, one treatment. You can see how the ink has lightened up after just one treatment, which is, this is pretty uh, typical of what you would expect for improvement after one treatment. This is the other wrist, and the reason that I thought this was so good in terms of an example is this woman has tattoos that say, let go and let God, and they're basically the same lettering, the same coloring, etc. And you can see that it's lighter here uh, than the other one. And these are both before, and they're very similar, same ink, same person. And you can see that it's lighter in the rapid removal technique as compared with uh, the regular removal. Again, this is one treatment. I would say it may be 25% more light with the rapid removal technique versus the regular removal technique. Uh, it's significant, but how significant is, is an important question. And it's gonna be individualized. There's a lot of people who don't necessarily want to wait uh, an entire year to have their tattoo removed. So having a rapid removal technique may be a good choice for those people. Uh, making sure that they're aware that there are increased risks with doing a rapid technique like that. And this is just the before, uh, so you have a comparison of, of where they were. And, and now uh, we have the girl with the dragon tattoo. This was a tattoo that was on the lower leg, and we will get the video started here. Here, we're lasering the entire tattoo. 
just removing everything with a regular technique. There's nothing special with uh, this treatment. You can see that the entire tattoo is treated. And here we've sectioned off a portion of it with the tape. And we're just lasering over that portion uh, to make it a rapid removal technique just on half of it. We wanted the patient as their own control uh, since the other one was a very unique situation where there were two tattoos on the wrists. This one, there's only one tattoo. We divided the tattoo in half and wanted to see how it healed. There was blistering. Um, there was some mild pain and discomfort with this treatment. Lower legs are notoriously difficult in general for any kind of procedure, but uh, this is the after. And this was, uh, the first treatment was August 21st, and the second was, uh, there is no second yet, but the, uh, the follow-up here is October 26th. And you can see where we did the rapid removal, there's a little bit more erythema right now, and we're not going to be lasering on her again until the erythema and the crusting improves. But there is an increase in terms of the uh, amount of ink that's present in the non-rapid removal versus the rapid removal area. Uh, it's good to see. And, and that's it for uh, this part of the lecture. I do have one other quick promotional video to show just the, uh, the laser in general.